Yo, what's good people? Today we're going to be talking about Kimberly, how to use the bomb in neutral and other situations because I feel like a lot of people they use the bomb only for the corner so as you can see she has two uh, bomb stocks so on game start she's always gonna have two bomb stocks right but I, f I feel like people just I mean everyone knows about the corner situation you know you knock them down with a target combo find the medium bomb you can throw them to relaunch so this is the situation then you would do um yeah you would do that or there's one more that I like to use a lot more which is this one which drains the drive gauge a lot and this is very important draining the drive gauge is really important in intermediate to high level play because I think a lot of play revolves around burnout in high level play you will see a lot of burnout situations so it's important to keep an eye on the drive gauge but what I want to bring to attention is how to use it at for example full screen or kind of mid-range to full screen so like let's say for example I'm, in, I'm engaged in a fireball war Kimberly doesn't have fireball so it can be difficult for her to deal with fireball outside of slide but again this is a really big read so let's say for example you want to take a more safe approach because I've seen a lot of people on Twitter say how do I approach neutral when let's face it Kimberly's buttons get outranged by the majority of the cast she doesn't have a low forward drive rush this low forward is good but you can't do low forward drive rush low forward drive rush prevents you from walking back and that's a big thing in Street Fighter 6 is if the opponent can lock you down based on the fact that you can't walk them back you have to down back and that obviously doesn't create space so the way to get around being out neutral and out buttoned is by using the bomb and there's a few ways you can use it so for example if I'm in a fireball war with Ryu so let's do like three fireballs something simple you know there's not really much Kimberly can do other than making a read on the fireball and obviously yes that is a risk so what you can do is you can use the bomb so you can either do it before you think they're going to start throwing fireballs so you can use the hard bomb to throw it full screen and this will prevent obviously them from throwing fireballs because they don't want to get hit with the bomb they have to respect it the bomb is very strong so you would use the bomb at full screen you can use the bomb mid screen yes it's still a read because if you throw the bomb the bomb has pretty bad recovery so let's say for example let me throw that and then get two stocks back so the way to get two stocks back is doing ex so if you do ex charge uh, you'll get two bomb stocks back so you can use it at full screen throw it full screen so the hard bomb they will stop throwing fireballs so for example this is going to happen if they throw fireballs they're going to get blown up and then that allows you to dash in now they're in the corner kind of thing or you can use it, you can throw it mid screen. So you can throw it here. Yes, they can still for fireballs, but they won't advance because they don't want to get hit or they'll jump. And that brings me to the next point. You can bait people to jump with the bomb because let's say, for example, in the corner, you throw a bomb down where they're knocked down. They're going to jump. They're going to jump. So you can bait this for them to jump and you can anti air them. So the thing is, Kimberly's tattoo got nerfed in that she doesn't have upper body invincibility anymore i think that's how it works so this just doesn't have invincibility on wake up so this got nerfed you can't use this as a wake up attack but this got harder to use for anti-airing because the lower the opponent is to you the, the more difficult it becomes to anti-air with it so you have to be really really early which is a problem but you can still do it if you predict a jump so if you throw this down you know they're going to jump as soon as you see them jump just tattoo you can also convert with tattoo as well so if you're dancing around you can do air grab um obviously you have to be close to the air grab but yeah so you can do ex air grab normal air grab you can do tattoo and throw the bomb down if you you know expecting them to go to jump oh medium bomb that they're going to jump tattoo now you're in the corner so there's a few ways you can use the bomb outside of the corner because i think it's important and especially because kimberly has trouble with certain button placement so i mean her good button is standing medium kick this is a good button you know she needs more and i think having one button that's good in neutral isn't enough for for us to excel in neutral and i think we need to start using the bomb in neutral a bit more throw the bomb mid-screen and just walk forward because they they're gonna respect the bomb they don't want to get hit if they jump anti-air if they jump they jump forward for example um so if they jump forward they're gonna get anti-air and you can use this for an anti-air and you can mix them up so you can do that this is very good for anti-airing 
So you can be very tricky with this. You can fake the cross-up. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to time. So as you can see, that looked like a cross-up, but I walked back under. So there's a lot. And then you can do... Because sometimes they will hold back because there's another mix-up you can do. So for example, if they jump and they don't know what side you're going to you're gonna be on, they will either walk forward or hold back. So they're not going to hold down back in any situation normally. So then what you can do is you can do this... And a lot of the times they will get hit because they don't know which way to block. They're not they're not worrying about a low. You can do this one. Oh, let me cancel it. Something like that, you know? Difficult to time, but you know, you can do stuff like that. There's a lot of things you can do. And I think the bomb can force people to jump as well if they're not really familiar on how to deal with it. The bomb is very good. I think the bomb is very underrated outside of the corner because I think a lot of people, they think the bomb is just the corner thing. It's really not like you can, you can literally, there's nothing Kimberly can do at this range, really. She doesn't have a fireball, but she has the bomb. So you can throw it full screen and just walk forward. You can throw it mid screen. If you don't want to engage in neutral because your opponent, I mean, it's, it's similar to how Jury can use her fireball. So Jury can throw a low fireball down and it goes really slow, but she can literally walk behind the fireball. There's nothing you can do. If you try to press, it's a little bit different to Jury's because Kimberly's bomb stays in place, right? So if they, if they get out of the way of the bomb, like let's say for example, I'm the opponent. So I throw a bomb down, I'm the opponent. If I walk forward, the bomb's behind me. That's, that's not going to, I can ignore the bomb now because that's not going to hit me with Jury. If it's on the screen and it's moving, it's, it's, it can hit you at any time. I mean, it's similar, but it's it's not the same. But you can kind of use it in the same way. In You can control neutral with the bomb. Throw it down mid-screen and just walk forward. You can bait jumps, anti-air, or use the crouching hard punch. And then cross up. Um, or you can use it to stop them from fireballs. So this is the thing. So if, you, if you're trying to stop them from fireballs, full screen let's say for example like that you will get hit by one fireball but now they're gonna stop throwing the fireballs and you can walk forward and that resets neutral because it is difficult for kimberly to deal with fireballs outside of slides these are risky moves and a lot of ryu players they will throw like two fireballs or something like they won't just repeatedly throw fireballs they will throw like two fireballs let me record that so they'll throw two fireballs wait for you and then dp you or something like that but if you throw a bomb here they're gonna stop see what i mean so it's it interrupts what they want to do if there's a bomb there so i think you need to kind of just try it out see if you know see if the opponent reacts you have to see how the opponent reacts but the main focus of the bomb is to stop them from pressuring you from full screen because there's nothing Kimberly can do about it really other than full screen slide and again that's just risky but those are a few tips on how to use Kimberly how to kind of get an advantage in neutral because I do see a lot of players and myself included asking questions on how to use Kimberly in neutral efficiently outside of standing medium kick she has a target combo which is hit confirmable um, but again the target combo itself the medium push doesn't have much range so you have to bank on the fact that your opponent makes mistakes and overextends for you to use that move to punish them kind of thing. Whereas Ryu can just do low forward and there's no repercussion because you can't really press after low forward because of fireball. You can't press after uh, low forward because of drive rush. So you're locked in if he presses low forward. And that's the difference. Kimberly can't do that to you. She can do this, for example, but you can react to her drive rush, her roll drive rush. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Kimberly, Kimberly's neutral. Let me know what you think on Kimberly's neutral. Do you think that people's complaining if there's reasoning behind it? Or do you think that people are just complaining? Do you think that Kimberly's buttons are good? Do you think they have good range? I want to know what you think in the comments. That was it, guys. Peace.